Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are having one challenging rational equation problem. It is x cube minus 1 over 2x power 5 plus x cube plus 3 minus x over 2x power 4 plus x square equal to 2 given x cannot be equal to 0 and we have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing our equation as x cube minus 1 divided by x cube is common in the denominator so i will be writing 2x square plus 1 plus 3 minus x divided by x square is common here so i will be writing 2x square plus 1 in the bracket rhs is 2 now if i will multiply the second term numerator denominator with x so it will have identical denominator, same denominator. Now I can multiply both sides with this common denominator. So I can multiply x cube times 2x square plus 1. Both sides here also x cube times 2x square plus 1. Now you can see denominator is same x cube. 2x square plus 1. So we can cancel these denominators. So what is left? x cube minus 1 plus 3 minus x times x equal to 2 times x cube in bracket 2x square plus 1. Now let us simplify first. So I will be writing x cube minus 1 plus 3x minus x square equal to 2x or better is to write 4x power 5 plus 2x cube. Take all the term to RHS. So I will write our quintic equation as 4x power 5 plus x cube plus x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quintic equation. We will find out five solutions. Let's use rational root theorem to find out eligible factors of constant written term 1. So I can write here plus minus 1. Similarly, we will be finding out the leading coefficient factors. It would be plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and plus minus 4. But if I will put x is equal to 1, it won't satisfy 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 3. So it is not satisfying. If I will put x is equal to negative 1, see what will come out? Minus 4, minus 1, plus 1, plus 3, plus 1. Is it true? Yes. Minus 5 plus 5 equal to 0. So I will consider x equal to minus 1 as base solution to this quintic equation. Let's apply SDM. So first I will write our quintic equation 4x power 5 plus x cube plus x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1 is our base solution. Now I will use SDM. So let me write here SDM and then I will write all the coefficient of this quintic equation. So x power 5 coefficient is 4, x4 is missing so 0, x cube is there, coefficient is 1, x square coefficient is 1, x coefficient is minus 3, constant term is 1. Put one line over there, leading term I will write as it is 4. Now Let's multiply each number with this base solution. So 4 times minus 1. I will write minus 4. Addition will be minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 4. 4, 5. Minus 1 times 5. Minus 5, minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 4. 4, 1. Minus 1 times 1. Minus 1, 0. Now we have got all the coefficients for quartic equation. 
So I will be writing quartic equation as x power 4. Let me write 4x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 5x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. Now again we will find out all possible factors of this constant term. So it would be plus minus 1 only. But this time here we are having plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and plus minus 4. I guess it is same. Because leading coefficient is 4, constant term is 1. So factors are same. Let us find if it will satisfy x is equal to 1. 4 minus 4 plus 5 minus 4 plus 1. No, it is not. If I will put again x is equal to minus 1. So it will become 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4. It is not. Now we have to take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So now it is turn of 2. So I will write plus minus 1 by 2. So let me put x is equal to plus 1 by 2. So I will be writing here 4 times 1 over 16 minus 4 times 1 over 8 plus 5 times 1 over 4 minus 4 times 1 over 2 plus 1. Is it true? Let's check whether it is true or not. If I will simplify further, then it is 10 minus 10 over 4. So it is coming out 0. That means x is equal to half is our second base solution for this quintic equation or x is equal to half is the base solution for this quartic equation. So far we have calculated minus 1 real solution and x is equal to half real solution for this quartic equation. So let us consider synthetic division method. So here I will be writing our quartic equation first 4x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 5x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 and x is equal to half is our base solution for this quartic equation. Now again I will use SDM. So I need to write all the coefficient of this quartic equation. So let me write all the coefficient 4 minus 4 5 minus 4 1. Leading term or coefficient as it is 4 half times 4 2 minus 2 half times minus 2 minus 1 4 half times 4 2 minus 2 half times minus 2 minus 1 0. So we have got all the coefficients for cubic equation. So I will be writing 4x cube minus 2x square plus 4x minus 2 equal to 0. If I can divide this equation with 2, so I can write 2x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Again we will find out all the factors of constant and leading term. So it is plus minus 1, again it is. And here we can write plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. If I will put x is equal to 1, so it will satisfy 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. No, it is not. 4 minus 2 is 2. If I will put x is equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. No, it is again not. If I will put the ratio of constant to leading coefficient, then it would be half. Let us put 1 by 2. So 2 times 1 by 8, 1 by 4, minus 1 by 4, 2 times 1 by 2, 1, minus 1. Yes, it is true. 1 minus 1 is 0. That means we can conclude x is equal to half is base solution for this cubic equation. So I can consider this cubic equation further for SDM and base solution would be 
x is equal to half. Let me write here. 2x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 1. 2x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. And base solution is x is equal to half again. So let us use synthetic division method. For this, I will write all the coefficients. So SDM. Coefficient of x cube 2. Coefficient of x square minus 1. Coefficient of x 2 constant term minus 1. One line over there. Leading coefficient 2 as it is. Now we will multiply by the base solution which is half. Half times 2, 1. 0. Half times 0, 0. 2. Half times 2, 1, 0. So here we are having coefficient for quadratic equation. So I will be writing 2x square plus 0x plus 2 equal to 0. So from here x square plus 1 equal to 0 after dividing 2 from both sides. Now I can write x square is equal to negative 1. A square is negative. So that means complex solution will come. If you want to write then we can write it is i square. Because we know that i is equal to square root of minus 1 and i square is equal to minus 1. Now I will take a square root both sides. So x will be plus minus i. So complex solutions. We will reject these solutions. Rejected. So far the solutions are. I will write x is equal to half with multiplicity 2 and then x is equal to minus 1. Let's verify. So check. Let me begin with x is equal to minus 1. Okay, equation is there. So we can consider this equation and let us find out LHS first. So x cube, so minus 1 cube, minus 1 minus 1 over 2x power 5 so minus 1 raised to the power 5 is minus 1 so minus 2 plus x cube so minus 1 plus 3 minus x so 3 plus 1 divided by 2x power 4 so 2 plus x square so 1 so I can write here it is minus 2 over minus 3 plus 4 over 3. Now we can cancel these two negative signs. So it will become 6 over 3 which is equal to 2 which is equal to our RHS. That means this is true solution. X is equal to negative 1. Now it is turn off half. So let me write here x is equal to 1 by 2 and I will consider this equation as let me write here itself x cube minus 1 over take x cube common it would be better 2x square plus 1 and then I will be writing 3 minus 1 3 minus x x square is common 2x square plus 1 it should be equal to 2. Let's check. So I will put x is equal to half in this equation. LHS. x cube. So I will be writing here 1 over 8. Minus 1. Minus 1. Divided by x cube. So again 1 over 8. In bracket 2x square. x square is 1 by 4. 2 times 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 plus 1 plus 3 minus x. So I will write 3 minus 1 by 2 over x square. So 1 by 4 and same bracket I will write 1 by 2 plus 1. Now I will write 1 by 8 minus 1. So it is 8 by 8. We can consider 8 by 8. So 1 minus 8 is minus 7 over 8 divided by 
1 over 8 and it is product with 3 by 2 plus 3 minus 1 by 2 I can write 6 minus 1 so I will write 5 over 2 divided by 1 by 4 and same bracket 3 over 2 I will write. Now you can see 8 and 8 in the denominator we can cancel. Let's cancel both the numbers 8 and 8. Now what is left? It is minus 7 over 3 by 2. So I will write minus 7 over 3 by 2. And here I will be writing plus. Cancel whatever we can. So we will cancel 2 and this 4 by writing over there 2. That 2 will come in the numerator. So it is 10 over 3 by 2. So denominator is same. I can write it is minus 7 plus 10. So 3 over 3 over 2. So this 3 and 3 we will cancel. Half in the denominator. It will be 2 in the numerator. And which is our RHS. So this value is also true. I hope friends this will, video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.